Hello, Amanda. Hi, Wendy. Welcome everybody to our first episode of Two Minute Talks. We'll be sharing our perspective and the knowledge about the current trends based on my experience uh, in the leading Houston education centers. And I'll be sharing my perspective on the social and emotional states of our children and of us parents and moms. I'm Wendy Tilford, the Executive Director of Huntington Learning Center in West University and in Houston Heights. And I'm Amanda Velasquez, the founder of West University Moms. So um, hopefully we can share some lights on some, uh, some, shed some light on some topics that a lot of parents are concerned about now. Um, this new way of learning, which is remote learning uh, from, from home. So, you know, what, let's get right into it and find some ways, uh, talk about the topics today on how we can get prepared for that. Uh, I have a kindergartner at home and I have a pre-K three at home. So in order to make these next couple weeks a success, I'm definitely gonna have to prepare. <laughs> yeah, I have a three and a half year old and a seven year old. And right now, no one's thinking about school. They're so thrilled to be at home for the next month. Um, so we definitely need to come up with a plan. Yeah, so learning loss is a huge thing. That's one of the top thing uh, questions on my parents' mind of what do we need to do to prevent um, this learning loss that my kids could be could experience and two, um, what, what should they be doing over the time? So one, set goals, right? Set the expectations that everybody understands what the goals are, what the expectations are, um, to make sure that everybody's on the same page. Number two, create a space for the parent as well as the student. We're gonna be home for the next few weeks, so we have to work from home and the student's gonna be working from home. So definitely create a space that's, uh, that's a consistent space and a place that they can work from. Um, number three, read all the instructions from school. Make sure that you understand the expectations from the teachers. If you have any questions or concerns, reach out to them via email or however the communication uh, you, that you have with your teachers to make sure you're clear on what's expected of the student. And most of all, make it fun. Um, less stress, <laughs> make it fun. <laughs> yeah, I couldn't agree more. I think it's really important to have that um, separated space um, you know, I'll be working from home and they're just, it's chaos in the house right now. So setting that designated space for them to work is going to be key. And I agree, just making it fun, you know, I mean, we're in this together and hey, now could be an opportunity where you can catch up and relearn some of those things that you might not have caught the first time. <laughs> yeah, definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Thank so thank you guys for listening, uh, to Coffee Talk Moms. Yeah, and we'd like to know what would you like us to discuss in our next few videos. You can leave the comments below um, and we'll do our best to provide um, the experience and perspectives um, from, from both of us. And please subscribe as well. You can also go to coffeetalkmoms.com and you can see uh, a list of upcoming videos and hot topics. <laughs> Thanks, Wendy. Bye for now. Yeah. Bye. Bye, everyone.